Hey there YouTube. Today I'm doing a quick video review of this Brutus Diamond drill bit. It's 5 16 inch and it can be used on porcelain, ceramic, marble, and granite. It was very hard to find a bit that said it was good for porcelain. A lot of stuff was like ceramic only so I found this at Menards. Lowe's did not have anything. I did not check Home Depot. I figure Home Depot would probably have it since it's made by QEP. So you get all this stuff in the package and what you do is take this container put this little gray thing through it alright once that's in there you'll notice that this side is more flush than this side and uh, this is the side that goes against the wall the flatter side of the gray thing uh, you put your sticker on there right and then you stick it to the wall don't put your sticker like this or like this because you're gonna have a bad time you can't put the cap on stick this to the wall put the cap on so pretend the wall is over here on my right then you simply fill this other container with water and there's little holes in the bottom of it that slowly drip and you put that in this you make sure these little holes on the bottom they go over that intake hole there just like so so you fill this with water put this in there and theoretically this will hold in there and drip down and the bit will suck water in there because the bit the bit has a little intake hole here as well which is how it sucks the water in it kinda acts like a turbine when it's in there and then when you're going through the wall the little hole lines up with that and sucks the water in and cools your bit works very well I did four holes through porcelain tile that I got at Lowe's and uh, I think it could go for like two more holes actually the tip actually looks pretty good still I think I could do another couple holes with it but thankfully I don't have to here's the UPC there's the model number cabinet. <laughs> Boom. And you want to make sure you go all the way through the backer board and take this uh, drywall anchor. Well in this case it's going to be a hardy backer anchor. And push it in there. A couple taps with your DeWalt driver hammer combo. 